Welcome to the Udamia Hello podcast. I am RJ. This is Andy. Uh, thank you for joining us for another uh, edition of the Udamia Hello podcast. We are doing today the top Christmas movies. How do you feel today about that, Andy? Feeling very festive. I it got my festive. my elf shirt on. I got my elf hat on. I'm just feeling festive. I don't usually feel festive. Um, Christmas is not really. I don't really celebrate the holidays much. Um, I know, I know, but you're de- you're I love Christmas movies. Well, that's so, good. Yeah. It doesn't and, really make any sense that you do. Well, having a daughter so young and a wife that loves Christmas movies, you're forced to watch them and you just fall in love with them. So speaking of you are literally married to Christmas. I feel yes. like yes. literally your entire house is, is filled with Christmas items. Except um, here, except for in there. That's your room. You do not allow Christmas in there. No, because you're Scrooge. <laughs> I have been called that before. Yes. Well, uh, you might as well uh, introduce her because it is your wife. Yeah. So a very special guest. I mean, when we were thinking about doing this episode, I went to my wife and I said, we're going to do a top Christmas movies uh, episode. And she was like, I want to be on that. Um, Christmas is her all time favorite. Um, you'll see as she comes on here. So my lovely wife, uh, Tina. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi from the other room. <laughs> yes. Hi from the almost North Pole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do live together. Uh, they're using separate separate areas, but they do live together. And as you can see behind you, uh, there is a ton of Christmas behind you. And we should change shirts. You should be wearing Grinch and I should be wearing I- the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's change shirts. <laughs> That's for our OnlyFans site. <laughs> <laughs> and we're edit that out. But um, yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, we are going to go through the top Christmas movies, and we are going to make about 75% of the world really angry with us today, I feel. <laughs> um, we have a weird list. It is, yeah. uh, it is a very odd list of 32 uh, movies. It, it doesn't really make sense at all. So, <laughs> our, I mean, my list does. Yours doesn't. <laughs> per usual. You, you literally have like two or three movies I wouldn't consider Christmas movies at all. You just put them on there because Christmas is happening in the background. What? I I put a couple movies on there that I knew if we did not have on that list, we would definitely offend some people. Um, <laughs> mostly friends and family who are the only people to listen anyway. So um, <laughs> I want to keep them happy. This is going to be Tina's first episode she gets through, it's, it's, and that's because she's yes. on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Jesse still, has a, still isn't watching this one either. <laughs> I tell her the funny stuff, so I just kind of like recap, like, hey, RJ said this. That was really funny, and I didn't say anything funny. So <laughs> That is untrue. We did that whole swearing bit in the last uh, episode that, or two. That you had to edit out, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We didn't really swear. It was fake. All of it was fake. Oh, that's right. He did show me that. <laughs> <laughs> so as we normally do, or at least have been recently, we have a lot of movies to go through. So I think the first top 32 to get to the top 16, we're going to do more of a rapid fire. And then when we get to the top 16, we'll be able to kind of explain a little bit of what is uh, behind our thinking. Um, so uh, without further ado, oh, by the way, if you don't agree with us or you do agree with us, hit us up. Um, Facebook.com. Um, we're also on YouTube. Uh, we're on Anchor, um, so pretty much anywhere you can get your uh, streaming uh, sites uh, for your podcast, please and, you know, check us out. Um, but this will be airing uh, the week or two before Christmas, so very timely. Um, but yeah, so let's start right around with the first round. Uh, we have Miracle on 34th Street versus A Charlie Brown Christmas. Let's, let's let Tina kick it off since she's, she's our guest. Um, though I love both of them, I will definitely have to choose Charlie Brown's Christmas. All right. And I am agreeing with my wife because I live with her. You know, <laughs> you, you can't, I, that, so. I cannot have you two <laughs> against me. No, we, we, we did not go over, over our decisions, but nope. I can pretty much guarantee that we'll know each other's answers. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, as it, 
as it is, I'll, I'll go with that as well. Um, a Charlie Brown Christmas is something that uh, my old church used to play like every year. So I've seen it like for the last seven years in a row um, during service. Not really sure why. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so they play like a good portion of it during, during the service bit. every year. The what? Linus's bit is yes, tr- yep. church related. <laughs> Yeah, so they they show that every year, and and it was uh, I loved it. The music in it is great. So, mm-hmm. all right, moving on. We've got Christmas with the Cranks versus the Snowman. Never Am seen I, the Snowman. I haven't either. <laughs> really, neither of you. Okay, I didn't think no. it was going to get that far, but you should watch it. It is like I think thirty minutes. No, no music. Uh, no um, talking at all. It's all music, and it's a snowman who flies in the air with a little boy. Uh, it doesn't really make any it. sense, but the soundtrack is amazing. I actually sleep to it on my sleeping playlist on Spotify. So it's, it's <laughs> I have good. seen it in, I want to say, elementary school then. I know the one you're talking about yeah. now. Bane used to show it uh, during music class. Oh. Um, so that's where I saw it for the first time. So but. Then I probably did see it, and obviously I don't remember, so I'll call it Christmas with the Cranks. Christmas All right. with the Cranks. <laughs> is that the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? No. No. What one is that one? What is Christmas with the Cranks? That is Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. And they decide it's actually based off the book Skipping Christmas from John Grisham. And they decide that I think their daughter is away, I believe is what it is. And they decide they weren't going to celebrate Christmas in a neighborhood much like my living room where <laughs> everybody does goes big, goes large, and uh, they decide that they're not going to. And basically their whole neighborhood gangs up on them saying that they're ruining Christmas by not decorating and not celebrating. And it's hilarious. It's a big farce. I feel like I've seen it like a long time ago, but maybe I'll have to try that for this Christmas. Is it kid appropriate? No. Uh, Okay. uh, Maybe. I'll have to look it up. All right. Christmas with the cranks. (laughs) Moving on. The next one is a hard one for me. uh, The Polar Express and Noel. Yeah, we we actually just watched Noel. That was something that we didn't have Disney Plus yet, and we saw it come, you know, coming out, and we wanted to check it out. So now that we have Disney Plus, we noticed it was on the list, so we wanted to check it out. So uh, last week we watched it. It was, it was a cute movie. Uh, it was it had some funny moments in it, uh, but Polar Express uh, for me is just it, it's definitely a new classic, childhood newer. favorite of mine as well. All right. Well, I, I would go with that too. I really did like Noel. I thought it was kind of like a little bit of a elf uh, yeah. kind of movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but and I really like Anna Kendrick. I think she's really good in pretty much anything. But, Billy Eisner. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Polar <laughs> Express is classic. Um, so all right, moving on. Uh, a Christmas Carol. This is the original. All right, uh, the one you chose versus mm-hmm. uh, Netflix's Let It Snow. Christmas Carol, Christmas Carol all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I do like, and you'll you'll know that later on, I do have a Christmas Carol on there, but not this one. Um, but Let It Snow was actually really good. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Check it out. It's got a okay. bunch of people in it. Um, so it's it was really cool. I'll um, IMDb a bunch of people. <laughs> it's, good. it's just a bunch of people. <laughs> all right. Next one is two movies that I have no idea what they are. It is Love Actually versus Serendipity. Hold on a second. You, the romantic comedy guy, haven't seen either one of those. I have not. I know Love Actually has The Walking Dead's Rick Grimes in it. Um, yes. And that's it. Uh, Serendipity, uh, no idea. No idea. Wow. And this is actually a really tough call for me um, because I love both of those movies. And neither one of them are, they they take place at Christmas time. Um, they're not the, you know, nothing about Santa or anything like that, but that's what makes them Christmas movies. Um, so let's see. So how are you going to be a tiebreaker? Do you want me to give you a little bit of background information? To no, see I, got, I got a pick. All right. That's true. You, you, you two should pick first. <laughs> I, meant, I meant he's going to be the tiebreaker on something he's never seen. Possibly, unless you both Possibly. pick the same movie. That's so true. What, what do you got? Okay. I will pick Love Actually. I was going to say, if you don't pick Love Actually, because you <laughs> every Christmas you're like, I want to watch Love Actually. Um, and I don't, maybe we watch Serendipity, but I don't recall it whatsoever. So I'm going with Love Actually as well. Okay. All right, so you guys make it easy for me. Um, I'm literally not going to vote. I'm going to step <laughs> back. Uh, Love Actually moves on. So You know, RJ, good. if you don't vote, you're actually choosing Love Actually. That's 
<laughs> Every vote matters. Uh, so I'm going to choose Love Actually just because it has The Walking Dead's Rick Grimes in it. So. And right. you should check it out. You will love it. I, I will have to check out a couple of these for sure. As long as you guys check out The Snowman and Let It Snow so far. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Moving on, we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation versus It's a Wonderful Life. This, this, one's this a, was a tough one for me. It is for me too, but National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was something that I watched a bunch when I was a kid, and I have a lot of like fun memories of it. So I'm going to go with National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation on this one. I'm going to disagree. I'm going with It's a Wonderful Life. I like both Yay. movies, but <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, she she got me into it, and it's just one of those, um, again, it's not really San, you know, Santa or all that, but it's, 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 it's a deep movie. And um, just really well put together. I've watched it ever since I was 10 <laughs> with actually my mom's best friend used to take us over for the weekend. So I've watched that every year since I was a, a little girl. And I just, you know, one of those classic movies that a kid wouldn't really be into. I loved it. I thought it was cool with the the angel getting, well, uh, spoiler alert. I'm sure everybody's <laughs> seen it, but the angel getting his wings, like that was just a really cool thing for me. I was like, what? He got him. <laughs> can't really say spoiler alert for a movie that's like 70 years old. Yeah, I suppose that's true. <laughs> we did pick off three people though who have not seen it yet. Yes. Um, no, I, 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 all right. So It's a Wonderful Life is moving on then. Um, next up, we have Bad Santa versus the Muppet Christmas Carol. I already know what you're going to pick, RJ. I am. I'm going with the Muppet Christmas Carol. It is like, <laughs> it is a better rendition of the original because it has Muppets in it and it's hilarious. <laughs> the little rat thing is hilarious, the entire movie. So that's what I, I'm going for. I think I only really remember bits and pieces of the Muppets Christmas Carol. And Bad Santa is one of my favorite movies, regardless of it being a Christmas movie. <laughs> um, I just, Billy Bob Thornton is is hilarious in that movie and it's basically i mean me besides um, i'm not you know i don't drink so uh i'm just a scrooge so bad santa <laughs> i right. just I a pickle <laughs> i am surprised to say that i'm going with bad santa as well because i refuse to watch that for years <laughs> But I have never seen a Muppet's Christmas Carol, which is crazy that I what? haven't seen a Christmas movie. I know. <laughs> However, I think it's on Disney Plus, so you have. Okay, to watch it. I will yes. check it out. You're literally in it. You're the Swedish Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> All right. Hey, Bad Santa. Moving on. Uh, next up, we have uh, the Santa Claus versus Netflix's Christmas Chronicles. I'm just going to go and just tell you Santa Claus. I've never seen Christmas Chronicles. I've heard good things about it. The second one just came out uh, on Netflix. So my kids love it. They saw it without me. Um, but the Santa Claus, the only one I've seen, I don't think it's amazing, but I'm going to choose it. Um, I, I like both. Christmas Chronicles is really good. This was another one of those tough first round choices, but um, I'm going to go with the Santa Claus. Claws. Oh. Claws. Okay. Claws. Claws. That's what it is. <laughs> Not claws. <All> right. <laughs> Tina, your vote oh, doesn't matter, but what do you got? <laughs> I thought Christmas Chronicles was absolutely adorable, but Santa Claus is definitely, I feel, more of a, I wouldn't say classic, but that's my pick as well. All right. All right. Moving on to Santa Claus. Uh, a couple more here. Uh, we've got uh, Frosty the Snowman versus Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Two. Classics fighting each other here. Very this unfair. Is, yeah, this, is, <laughs> this was very random, by the way. I did not do this purposely. Sure, Randy Miser did it. <laughs> um, I'm going with Rudolph. I, I, I think it has more of a story to it than than Frosty. The whole Hermy thing, you know, and just I don't know for me, even right. though it's just. It teaches kids some really bad habits, like picking on <laughs> Rudolph because you're they're different. Um, I mean, both of the movies contain a lot of criticisms. I think uh, years later, so and to me, I feel like both of the movies are very similar. Like I, I, I could mix yeah. them both up. Rudolph just was the one that used right the uh, stop motion uh, animation, so it looks a little a little odd. But um, I'm going to go with Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer too. Um, that one, 
yeah, just just I remember more from that one than I do Frosty. All right. Messy, you messy, up? messy. <laughs> what would you have chosen for, Tina? Um, I like Rudolph as well. Um, the yeah, the, the the bad habits and the picking on Rudolph thing, but that it all comes together at the end is uh is nice and anti bullying towards the end, but you know. Yeah, when Santa stops being a d bag, I do remember. Oh, you do have some yeah. use. I'm gonna. I'll let your fl fly I'll my let sleigh. No, it's until I need you. I was gonna murder you, but yeah, we'll keep you around. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have a Christmas story versus a bad mom's Christmas. I already, I you already know where I'm going because I put it on the list. A bad mom's <laughs> Christmas is a hilarious. Like if you haven't seen a bad mom. Uh, the regular one or the Bad Moms Christmas, go out of your way. It's hilarious. Do you so. do you understand the hate we're about to get right now? Because to knock I'm out all... a Christmas story? <laughs> yeah, because I'm also picking a Bad Moms oh, Christmas. Oh, you surprised me there. I didn't think you'd go there. I, I like a Christmas story. Um, uh, maybe I, I don't know. It just doesn't do much for me, unfortunately. Uh, Bad Moms Christmas is just up my alley with the type of humor. Mm -hmm. And we've watched that several times. So. Yeah. Bad Moms Speaking Christmas, of, we need to watch sure. that like coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <I'm a> so, <laughs> so it is a three, three people are sending this forward over a Christmas story. So yeah. Sorry, yeah. everybody. We just lost everybody. They all just clicked off. Like, They're these, like, never mind. We're not watching the rest of these this. morons this are going to pick something off. <laughs> <laughs> Go shoot yourself in the eye. <laughs> So another thing we did that might piss people off is we put on three Grinch versions. Uh, we couldn't just pick one. So it was How the Grinch Stole Christmas. We have the Grinch with Jim Carrey. Um, and then we also have the Illumination version of the Grinch. So right now we have How the Grinch Stole Christmas uh, versus Die Hard. <laughs> so this is the original Grinch the original. movie. This is the original yeah. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, not the Jim Carrey, not the Illumination. All right. So All right. this was... This was one of those where people are like, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Is it not? And your our buddy John was very, very upset that we were not going to include Die Hard on our list. And I said, fine. I let him have it. And guess what, John? It's out of here. I'm picking <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I'm with you on this one. I don't know if I'm a believer that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Um, I, there's articles on it. Dawson is another guy who sent me an article with eight reasons why it's 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 a Christmas movie. Um, but I don't like how the Grinch stole Christmas. So I am going to vote for Die Hard on this one. You almost oh, made me vomit a little bit. <laughs> Well, okay, as somebody who has never seen Die Hard, sorry, everybody, wow. I'm what? going we to go. It. We did not watch Die Hard. We watched Lethal Weapon. I've never seen Die Hard. Really? Hmm, maybe it's a different way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is has been one of my very favorite movies for a long time so pretty much anything that went up against it i was going with the grinch all right all right well uh moving on we do have a uh, year without a santa claus mm -hmm. versus home alone tough one a lot uh, of home alone talk this week on facebook mm -hmm. uh, there was yeah home alone one two three four five or six as well if you want to get that deep. <laughs> uh this is one there, is just seriously six I think there's six, yes. Oh and I've God. seen all of them, and they're all worth watching. They're not good, but they're worth watching. Oh, man. Uh, one, two, and three are good. Four, five, and six are like watching Tremors over and over again. Like it's You just keep going, even though there's seven of them. There's no reason there is. But are they the same criminals every time? The what? Same criminals every time? No, no. So oh, after the third one, I don't think anyone... <laughs> <laughs> After the third one, I don't think anyone is in it. In the third one, it's like it's serious stuff. Like the third one is like he's trying terror. to steal their Metamucil. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna go with Home Alone, though. I mean, the original Home Alone, um, the soundtrack to that was great. Uh, the beginning, I hadn't realized until I showed the kids how bad the language is in the beginning. Um, I had forgotten that. Yeah. <laughs> the little <laughs> jerk. Um, but yeah, so other than that, Home Alone for me. Um, yeah, I'm going with Home Alone 2, not Home Alone 2, Home Alone as well, 
uh, even though I love, you know, the heat miser and uh, who is very reminiscent of our friend Dean from back in the day. <laughs> the same um, yeah, but home alone. I mean, classic. I was I was sad when I saw those two pinned up against each other because I know that's one of your favorites from when you were a kid. I was like, oh man, mm -hmm. it's it's out of here. <laughs> we can't and we can't sure. watch it now. It scares the crap out of our daughter. Oh. <laughs> All right. Dancing. So yeah. that moves on. <laughs> no, no. Next up, we have two of my uh, favorites, um, but I already have a, a, a clear winner in mind. We have Elf uh, versus Better Watch Out, which I know the two of you have not seen. So, nope. no, Better Watch <laughs> Out. Let me just give you a quick rundown. <laughs> Better Watch Out is Home Alone meets a horror movie. It is amazing. It basically is like a boy who is being watched overnight with his friend by a girl babysitter teenager. Um, and as the parents leave, somebody comes to the house and they set a bunch of traps and it's ridiculously gory and fun and a lot of comedy too. Um, but it's uh, it doesn't stand up to Elf. So Elf for me. Elf. No. Elf. <laughs> we'll talk more about Elf later. However, better watch out. You should definitely check it out at some point. Uh, next, we have Daddy's Home 2 versus the Jim Carrey version of Grinch. Man. This one hurts you. Yeah, Daddy's Home 2 is really funny. Um, but so is the Grinch with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey took that character to a whole nother level. Um, so I'm going with the Grinch again. All right. All right. All right. You know, I'm going to split it up so Tina has a hard time. Daddy's home, too, for me, only because I hate the Grinch. So That's what RJ says when I come over. This one, <laughs> it, just because it reminds me of you, and I, I just I hate you, too. So, um, But no, Daddy's home, too, for me. Um, yeah, that's it. Tina? Because it's me touching the thermostat. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, um, I when I saw this pinned up against each other, I was like, oh no, how can I choose? Um, so I, I still don't have a definitive answer, but I think I'm actually surprising myself by saying daddy's home too. Um, yes, I, I know. I love, love, love the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch, but I, I'm going with my first impression of the movie. When I first saw it, I did not like it at all. I had to see it more than once before I fell in love with it. So because it was so over the top from the cartoon, which was my favorite since I was a little girl. Um, so because of that, You're and I love baby Grinch out. I know. The cute little baby Grinch. All right, so that means Daddy's Home 2 makes it to the next round, kicking one of the three Grinches out uh, right. so far. Next up, we have Garfield's Christmas versus the Illumination version of the Grinch. Illumination! <laughs> what do you got for me? Tina? Me first? Okay. Um, Garfield, all the way. Again, reaching, going back to my childhood, all of these are because when I was... A kid, I've watched Garfield since I was six years old. Well, Garfield's Christmas. No, I don't I don't watch anything else Garfield related. Um, but yeah. All right. Don't say that with Bill Murray around. Um, I'm gonna go with here's a surprise for you, the illumination version of the Grinch. So I saw this not wanting to because I hate Grinch. And I loved this movie. I thought this was a great version of The Grinch. It's my favorite version of The Grinch. And it was actually a passable movie for me. I loved it. <laughs> um, so Illumination Grinch for me. Um, I, I like both of these. But, I mean, we watch this movie every day. And it's just... <laughs> now it's at the point where I'm like, I don't want to watch it anymore because our daughter literally <laughs> watches it. I, I, we have to stop her. Like, can I watch Grinch? No, we have to take days off because it's going to drive us crazy. Uh, but the Illumination Grinch just took the story to a different level and um, has a lot more humor in it. Um, so I'm going with Illumination Grinch. All right. Illumination Grinch, moving on. Uh, final one of the top 32, we have Fred Claus versus the Family Stone. Uh, Tina, you wanted to throw out all of these romantic comedies, but... The Family Stone, family drama. If you have not seen that, please tell me you've seen that. I have. Okay. 
Uh, I'm voting for the Family Stone all the way. It's actually one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> Along with three right ninjas, with three, three ninjas, ninjas. <laughs> three ninjas, the Family Stone, twenty eight days later. <laughs> oh God, twenty eight days later, and Hamilton, and Ham. Oh gosh, yeah, Hamilton by far. <laughs> Have you made Tina watch this yet, Hamilton? No, I, I told you, her though. As soon as the, away. as soon as we w- were done watching it, I was like, I hate you. <laughs> pumped that movie up so much. I was like, I'm gonna. He, you movie. hung up. You hung up with me. You went into bed and you looked at Tina and you were like, "That was the best movie ever." <laughs> <laughs> he was right. He was right. <laughs> All right, Family Stone for me. Sorry, guys. That's I, I don't remember if we if I watched Family Stone with you or not. If we did, I don't remember anything. We I, we just watched the trailer for it to try to jog my memory a little bit. I was like, I maybe maybe I saw the trailer. Um, but Fred Claus with Vince Vaughn is a really funny movie, and I love watching that movie. So what about Fred Claus? All right. So I have seen Family Stone. I do enjoy it, um, but it was a little too sad for me. <laughs> like, so um, not something I, I – I guess I base my favorite Christmas movie on something I want to watch over and over. And I know, you know, It's a Wonderful Life <laughs> isn't – the most uplifting thing throughout. <laughs> However, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I think I was mostly sad through most of that movie. So I was like, well, I don't know if I would want to watch this over and over all the time. So Fred Claus as well for me. All right, that makes me a little sad. But Fred Claus moving <laughs> into the top sixteen. The Family Stone is gone. Luke Wilson is gone. Uh, Claire Danes is gone. Uh, Rachel <laughs> McAdams is gone, and the dead mother is gone too. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, that one's like 15 years old, so we're okay. All right, so we are in the top 16. We've cut it down. We've cut it down mm-hmm. in half. Um, before we move any further, I guess, just some other things that are going on in our world. Uh, Andy and I also do music together. Uh, we're on a number of places. We're on Spotify. Uh, we're on uh, YouTube. Uh, we're also on uh, BandLab. Um, and pretty much anywhere else you can get um, your music. So check it out, Amazon, everywhere else. So Google. Um, but yeah, it's all over the place. We got music coming out generally on Fridays. I think our next song's coming out, um, well, this Friday, which is in the past. So we, yeah, yeah past but Friday. check it out in the past. Uh, <laughs> nothing But Over, I think, is the one coming out uh, this coming week. So um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got great reviews. Like, um, I like the old stuff better from your dad <laughs> um, that was a really good review <laughs> yeah and i uh there was somebody else who said um yeah it's okay this is okay <laughs> it's, it's okay um so yeah so so go on there we also got uh thumbs down on every video we had on youtube so that's fun um so you know hey maybe thumbs up it bring up the score a little bit for us because that one person who went through and thumbed them all down including my proposal video it was Jesse. Um, <laughs> she thumbs down all of them. Uh, no, but anyways, uh, <laughs> we have music that comes out weekly on top of the Udamia Hello podcast as well, uh, which I don't have a cool graphic for. Um, and but actually, over there, may- maybe by this point, oh, well, we can do a high five. Yeah. Oh. Ah, you did it too. Did it oh. too. <laughs> maybe by this point, I'll have my song out with Tina. Yeah, singing. Nice, nice. I'm still working on it. Very cool. Well, hey, that's it. We're going into the top 16 right, now. So uh, here we are. Let's just move in. Charlie Brown Christmas versus Christmas with the Cranks. Good grief. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think they, they really stand a chance against each other. Charlie Brown Christmas is classic. The music is classic. It's Charlie Brown. Uh, not to mention they love Jesus. So Charlie Brown Christmas for me. And Christmas with the Cranks is really funny. I have uh, to rewatch that. Yeah. Um, again, I, I I am much like the main character in that, where I'm like, let's just skip Christmas. Let's go do something else. Um, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, oh, you're so, it's so sad hearing you talk like that. Yeah, but I think you, you kind of nailed it. Like Charlie Brown is, it's got the classic music on there. Um, they're really mean to Charlie Brown, but they, in every single Charlie Brown thing, like they treat him like he's absolute garbage, um, which is just great for the Christmas spirit. Um, 
but I, I I love I love Charlie Brown's Christmas. So I'm going with Charlie Brown. Charlie All right. Brown for sure. All right, so it is a sweet Three Charlie ones. Brown. Moving yeah. on. <laughs> Next up is oh, this is tough. The Polar Express versus the original Christmas Carol. <laughs> for me, it's the Polar Express. Um, I never wanted to watch it. Uh, my kids did, and we watched it one day, and I loved it. Thought it was really cool. They now do a bunch of Polar Express train rides in the area that I haven't been able to do yet, but um, hope to do sometime soon, maybe next season if COVID calms down. But Polar Express for me. What did you say? I don't think there's any train rides this year. They all shut down for the, no. for the season. Yeah, probably not. Not with kids especially. We did. Yeah. We actually did get away with doing a train ride like two months ago, three months ago or something like oh. that for our anniversary. Unless it's the Squad City DJs. What? Come and ride this train? Oh, my God. Is that a Squad City? I don't know. Is that from Space Jam? That should have been on our One Hit Wonders. No, oh, they, had, the they had countless hey, right. one hit. Um, I mean, I think I remember the plays. So me and Tina would always go see A Christmas Carol. Um, or we've good. seen it multiple, you know. How many times? Oh, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> at least. So I remember more, more of the plays than I do the movie. Um, and the plays are always very, very good. Um, my Polar Express. Uh, I'm going to go with that. I think that's just a well done movie. Tom Hanks again. It's a little sappy. I guess is that a good word for it? I don't know. I'm going with it. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah all right polar express sounds fine all right and you polar Tina? express yeah oh, for okay. sure and you lady <laughs> <laughs> all right next we have love actually and it's a wonderful life oh damn yeah <laughs> i you know for a person running helping to run a podcast where we're going to debate things i know little to what we debate um <laughs> I have not seen Love Actually. I have not seen It's a Wonderful Life fully through. Oh. I have seen pieces of it on TV. But It's a Wonderful Life for me is uh, from what I've seen much, much more on my wheelhouse. So It's a Wonderful Life. All right. I know Tina's like going to go back and forth on this one probably in her head. Uh, maybe not as much as I think. No, I think I know what she's going to go with. But <laughs> Love, Love Actually is... One of those movies that Tina's always like, let's watch it. Got to watch Love Actually. Can we watch Love Actually? Like, if I make her watch a stupid movie, she's like, let's watch Love Actually. Mm -hmm. And I I watched it, and I, I was like, this sucks. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but maybe I got to watch, watch it again. Maybe I just was not in the mood that night. Um, that sounds really weird. But it was not <laughs> definitely not Love Actually. I'm going with It's a Wonderful Life. Uh -huh. <sighs> I I have to pick It's a Wonderful Life. Love Actually is, I find it hilarious, but if I think Christmas, I definitely think It's a Wonderful Life over Love Actually. Even though I love that movie, it's not for yeah. Christmas for me. <laughs> I was going to say, there's one movie that every year at Christmas, yeah, Tina's like, year. it's Christmas. I didn't watch It's a Wonderful Life. Like I'm watching it right now. Like, and I, I fall it. asleep every single year, not because it's boring, but because I'm always so exhausted by the time I put it on. It's like 11 o'clock at night, and I'm like... <laughs> Tina, have, <laughs> you I have, ever, have you ever made it through a full movie? I <laughs> have. I <laughs> have. Wonder, is this not... d debatable. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when Andy would allow me over uh, pre-COVID, uh, we used to watch wrestling, and Tina would be out by the second match in. That's wrestling, though. Granted, it's wrestling, but yeah. still. Uh, it could be WrestleMania, and she is done. Hey, look, the second match is pretty good because most of the time it's like, hey, let's watch Netflix. I haven't even turned it on <laughs> yet. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, It's a Wonderful Life moves on. Uh, next up, we have Bad Santa and the Santa Claus. Mm. I mean, you know, my pick's Bad Santa. Quick. Thurman right. Merman. <laughs> I mean, come on. Thurman Merman. That kid is fantastic. Like, they can just make a a movie about Thurman Merman, and that would be a five-star classic. So, <laughs> he made a wooden pickle. <laughs> a wooden pickle, RJ. And he's like, what, 
why is the pickle brown? He's like, oh, I cut myself making it. Uh, so dumb. Um, it's fantastic. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to hurt your feelings here. Um, I have not seen Bad Santa in its entirety. Um, I don't think you would like it. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I would either. I didn't want to see it. It does have uh, Gilmore Girl in it, uh, Lauren Graham, which is cool, but um, I hate Billy Bob Thornton, so... Sorry, I I generally don't like Billy Bob Thornton. At least not a lot of the movies that he's been in. Um, so Santa know. Claus, by the way, is my pick. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> oh, tiebreaker. Um, I think I'm actually going to have to go with the Santa Claus as well. Sorry. <laughs> Oh. I know, I know. Oh man, <laughs> that one hurts. I know. All right, next up, we have a very odd pairing. We have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer versus a Bad Mom's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I for me, I just can't get over how rudolph the red-nosed reindeer did not age well so I i'm gonna go and then bad mom's christmas is just inappropriate so uh bad mom's <laughs> christmas is my pick it's just it's is, hilarious did that not age well or the part where she's waxing the guy with the legs spread up in the air <laughs> Which, by the way that is the dude from uh this is, this up. is us yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah and that scene is probably the one of the funniest scenes in the entire thing <laughs> i know i can't really i can't really say that i'm not voting for rudolph the red-nosed reindeer because it's and it hasn't aged well and then pick the one where they they rip hair off of the this is us dude um, <laughs> yeah. and it's private so. uh, <laughs> but yeah, bad mom who has never seen this is us i'm like hey that's the hot santa that won the contest <laughs> when i saw it on a preview <laughs> oh, uh, God. so uh bad mom's christmas for me what do you got bad mom's christmas Oh gosh, we're killing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh man, I mean Santa was going to do it first, so we might as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, Bad Mom's Christmas. Moving on, Andy. Yeah. What, do you, what would you have chosen? Oh, man. I, I probably would have chose Rudolph just because it's uh, just that classic element and something that I've watched since I was a kid. And no matter how, like Hermie, the Abominable Snowman, like those are classic characters that i mean we have the figures up all over the place and um my that was a big favorite of my mother's um it's like we always buy her something from that movie but the dude uh yukon cornelius the guy <laughs> he's hitting the ice and isn't that the same guy <laughs> didn't he also play in uh the price is rights mountain climb the, the <laughs> Totally. I mean, that kind of looks like the guy with this. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, Bad Mom's Christmas uh, is moving on. So next, oh my god, we just we lost have... everybody. <laughs> no, like this this podcast is not credible. If we didn't lose them in the nine episodes prior, this is personal okay. preference, people. It is. It's personal preference. Uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas uh, versus Home Alone. Mm. Uh, guys, Home Alone is classic. Uh, Joe Pesci, um, it's 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 classic stuff. Um, it still makes me cringe when that dude steps on the nail. Uh, yes, in, in, the, in the, the basement. Um, yeah, Home Alone for me. So, I don't think I watched Home Alone as a kid. I don't think I watched it until you probably weren't allowed to because you had a good parent to stop you from <laughs> probably <a> young age. <laughs> Probably. I think I wanted to. Um, I saw like previews of it, but I, I didn't watch it. I don't think I watched it till I was either a late teenager or early 20s. Um, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas is, is a really great movie, but um, I just think they've, they've redone it better since. Um, so I'm going with Home Alone. All right. Home Alone is moving on. Tina, what would you have chosen? Very, very hard choice um, because I do love them both, but I think the original Grinch, the the original Grinch just has a special place for me, again, for my childhood. Um, so yeah, that probably would have been my choice, but I would have hated to see Home Alone go. All right. All right. Well, 
You don't. Home Alone is moving on. Uh, <laughs> the, one of the Grinches is gone. We're down to one Grinch left, oh, I think. Oh, man. Uh, next up, we have Elf versus Daddy's Home 2. Oh, no. Elf. Will Ferrell. <laughs> done. Someone I mean, else. do yeah. I have to say anything? Like, I'm yeah. just as ready to <laughs> Elf. Like... All right. Uh, what are you me for? You know my answer. You have the Elf shirt. I was getting a close-up. Oh, all right. Oh, there's six of them. Elf is moving on. Definitely nice. Elf. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Illumination version of the Grinch versus Fred Claus. Ooh. <clears throat> Did you have you seen Fred Claus, RJ? Um, not in its entirety. No. Um, so I, I would go with the Illumination version anyway, just because I really, I really do like that. I love Vince Vaughn, but um. Illumination version was re was surprisingly good. I didn't want to see it. I did, and I loved it. Because you don't speak ridiculous <laughs> from the Grinch movie. I'm going to go with the new Grinch movie as well. Uh, I, I really do like Fred Claus, but it's really hard. Like, right now, I'm trying to think of the movie in my head, and I can only think of, like, little parts here and there. Um, now, now more is coming into my head, but Still, great, great illumination, Grinch. All right. Even though I didn't pick it with the last round, that would be my choice out of the two as well. All, All right. right. Can't do that. <laughs> Podcast. All moves. right. Well, hey, we are down to the top eight. This is almost over here. We've got eight uh, of our top Christmas movies left. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas and Polar Express. It's a tough one. Oh, man. I mean... <laughs> the top eight. This is always going to be difficult in anything that we. These are the. These are the top guns here. <laughs> uh, I'm the top gun here. Uh, Charlie My Brown's last Christmas. name is Gun People. Your last name is Guns People. No. <laughs> that must be really weird to like go to a bank. Um. um I'm going to surprise myself here, and I'm going to go with Charlie Brown as well. Um, I love the Polar Express. Probably think it's a better movie to watch now, but Charlie Brown's classic. The music is really what gets me for a lot of it. I love the music. Do you have the soundtrack? I have it on this thing called a CD that I listen to every year. <laughs> she burned it yesterday. <laughs> That's because we just and learned I what a burner is. set in my basement. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I'm um, <laughs> so what would you choose, Tina? Charlie Brown all the way. All right. All three of us for Charlie Brown. Polar Express is gone in the top eight. Sorry, Next Tom Hanks. Up, it's a Wonderful Life versus the Santa Claus. <laughs> now, Santa Claus, that was that's Tim Allen as well, right? Mm -hmm. So he did two different Christmas movies. And that's one where Santa... Falls off the roof and I feel like you put this on here. You should know this. I, no, I, 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 oh, yeah, okay. we, we discussed. <laughs> um, right? I think that's a funny premise. That's, you know, yeah. Santa Santa just drops dead in front of you. Now you're the Santa Claus. Like <laughs> that's hilarious. Like, but it's a wonderful life. Um, timeless, classic. Look up all their synonyms in the dictionary. That's a wonderful. It's a wonderful life. All right, Tina. It's a wonderful life for sure. All right, so it's a wonderful life moves on. Uh, if I were, if, <laughs> if I were to choose, I mean, I don't like the Santa Claus, but it's the only one I've seen straight through out of these two. But doesn't matter. You're doing a disjustice to Christmas. A disjustice is that a is that a term? Injustice. Injustice. That sounds better. I'm not. A, I'm not an English. I'm not an English type of dude. I'm not an English here. guy, bro. <laughs> I was. I was brought up in the Cranston Public I only play. <laughs> I only play Mafia City on Facebook. <laughs> so All right, next up. year where we weren't allowed to have backpacks because they thought it was gang activity. So oh, carry your eight books because you can't go to your locker. Yeah. It's good. I think it was Top the year Florida after you left. Top Florida East. It was after yeah. I left. Yeah. 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 That was insane. Mm -hmm. Imagine carrying like eight books because they only give you four minutes of between I periods. Know. I remember having at Bain having to run to the lunchroom just to get lunch in time because it was only yeah. twenty two minutes. Yeah, oh yeah. And by the time you got like through the line, you could eat like two pieces of you know, two bites of pizza yep. with That's chocolate milk at eleven thirty in the morning. 
All right, we got two more uh, brackets here in the top eight. We have a Bad Mom's Christmas versus Home Alone. Home Alone for me. I, I love Bad Mom's Christmas, but Home Alone. Home Alone for sure. All right, moving on. Uh, the final one is Elf. Oh, this is hard. Versus the Illumination Grinch. <sighs> it's not. It's Elf. <laughs> I mean, Will Farrell is just fantastic in that movie. Um that's true. As as he is in a lot of movies, but I think that one really uh, showed a different side of him, um, different kind of comedic aspect where he was maybe doing a lot more adult humor and then, you know, just to do a kid's movie and do it so well that kids did, and adults like, you know. Did you also see his other kind of kids movie, Kicking and Screaming? Kicking and Screaming, yeah. That's yeah. a great movie too. Yeah. That's pretty good. Anyways, uh, Elf for me Elf. as well. For and sure. L for you. Okay, all three of us. Yeah. So we have a top. <clears throat> excuse me. We have a top what? four now. We How have. Are going through that have... time. Going through that time in your life. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> we only do this podcast at eleven at night because we're all. You gotta go from a squirt gun <laughs> to a pop gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a Charlie Brown Christmas versus It's a Wonderful Life. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to go with a Charlie Brown Christmas because I, again, I have not seen It's a Wonderful Life fully through. I love the music of Charlie Brown Christmas. I could listen to that all day. So, Charlie Brown. <laughs> you sounded like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Man. What's that? Did I sound like the guy from Chappelle show, right? Yeah. 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 Charlotte, what is it? Charlie, Charlie Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Lucy comes in. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. God. What do we got? What do we got? Charlie Brown. It's a wonderful life. Charlie Brown I, for me as well. I think. <laughs> sorry, Tina, but. It's a Wonderful Life is really depressing when when you think about it. Like it has a you know a great ending. Like a lot of these older movies were so freaking depressing for like seventy five percent of the movie, and then at the end it was like, well now it's all good, you know. Like, um, I mean, I mean, they treat like Charlie Brown like crap, anyways. So it's whatever at that point. Um, <laughs> but I'm going with Charlie Brown. I know my It's a Wonderful Life doesn't matter, but that's my choice. <laughs> All right. It doesn't. The last two movies on the list, Home Alone versus Elf. I told Tina, I was like, this is going to, at some point, these two are going to be up against each other when we saw the brackets. Mm. Um, just because I kind of knew. Because you know how gonna... brackets work. I... <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing they taught me in uh, the public school system. <laughs> I'm going to keep you brackets today for, so you can bet on your games. Tina, I really think these two movies are going to meet on the same side of the bracket because that's just where they are. I just have a feeling. Was um, that my dad just now? <laughs> uh, yeah, so what are we doing here? Home Alone and Elf. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to choose Elf. Um, no, I'm backing it up. Home Alone. I'm gonna choose Home Alone. Uh, can you do this? Hold on, I can. I'm backing it up. I am not putting. I, I threw it out there, but I I wanted to back in. Uh, Hold on. Home I Alone. Check, the rules. Oh. check with Randy if you need to. <laughs> right. It says it says you can you can back out. I haven't had a close up too much yet. Here it is. Home That's Alone. Enough. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna make you be the tiebreaker for a change, and I'm gonna go with Elf. Oof. Well, I am not a cottonhead in any muggins, so I am going with Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. Wow, we kicked out Home Alone. Uh, so we now have a very yeah, odd pairing. That's how brackets work. <laughs> <laughs> Let me school you on bracket bracketology. <laughs> <laughs> Bracket pairing. <laughs> we are at the finals. This is the finals. Thank you for joining us. I'm hoping you're still with us after we kicked out so many classic movies. <laughs> um, but we now have a classic versus a newer classic. We have Charlie Brown's Christmas versus Elf. Top movie, Christmas movie of all time. 
Who wants to start this very tough? Let's let the guest go first. Mm, I figured you were going to do that, actually. So <laughs> when you said, honestly, I, I was struggling the whole time. But as soon as you said, of all time, I have to go with Charlie Brown because it's been around longer. It's amazing. Uh, they're both amazing. But... If we're going of all time, I have to go with the classic, which is Charlie Brown. Okay. <laughs> you didn't think I was um, going to say that, did you? <laughs> I, I kind of had a feeling. Um, can I still sleep in the same bed with you if I say elf? Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm saying elf. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know what else I can say about elf besides... That it's freaking hilarious. Though there's parts in it that do not make sense. Because, first of all, Santa basically steals this child from uh, from these nuns. Like an orphanage, right? <laughs> that poor Pearl nun Man. on duty must feel terrible that she lost a baby. Yeah. Like <laughs> Santa's just like, oh, there's a baby here. I guess I gotta keep it. Can't bring it back. <laughs> like, why do they make Santa such a, a D in, like, all these movies? Um... <laughs> And then what else doesn't make sense? So he's he's a human, but he's got all these like elf traits to him. Like he throws the snowballs with, you know, really fast at people. He could throw a pre precision and hit somebody in the back as they're running away. No, you're not you're naming elf. reasons why elf shouldn't be your pick. Just throwing that out there. What? It's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. All right. And there's a, a how old is Charlie Brown? Eight-year-old kid with one strand of hair across his, across his head. <laughs> and his head's like seven times too big. And there's a, a dog that just like talks. Well, he doesn't really talk, but you know what I mean. Uh, the piano playing genius. and Yeah. No. Sorry. The Scrooge is coming out of me. Scrooge was on this movie. Huh? All right. Elf. So we have Elf. Uh, and we have um, Charlie Brown Christmas so far. I, I'm going to have to go with, this is a tough one, Charlie Brown Christmas for me. Uh, Christmas time is here. Amazing song. Um, but if I'm going to sit down and watch a movie with my kids today, it's going to be Elf. So I think, I think I'm going to go with Elf here. And we are going to crown Elf as the top Christmas movie of all time. I'm going to put this as the crown. I, I feel like I'm not taking my. Oh, are you my getting hair. paid to make sure Elf gets to the top? <laughs> this is a paid advertisement of a twenty-year-old movie. Yes. All right. Well, there it is, guys. Uh, Elf. I feel that's so is, anticlimactic. We're just. Like, it, it always. <laughs> it's always like there it is. Okay. Uh, we can't. We can't legally play any Elf stuff or you know have the Christmas time is here music playing in the background. So it's, it has to be anticlimactic. It's like Macaroni. Elf. At some point, I will have like the elf will, will come across the screen as the winner. So that's we can. About I should have got a Jack in the Box. <gasps> that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, hey, uh, are there any Christmas movies that we maybe forgot to put on the list or that were on the list but just didn't make it into the top thirty-two? Anything you guys can think of? Um, Scrooged was one. I don't think I've ever seen it, but I know that was a really popular movie with Bill Murray. Um, oh yep, uh -huh. and what the hell is the Arnold movie that we cannot think of? I thought Jingle it was all the way. Jingle oh, all the way. That's another yep. one that. Yep. I, I you know people will probably say that uh, should have been on the list, but mm -hmm. I've seen a couple that I like, but I don't think are amazing. Last Christmas uh, just came out on Netflix not long ago. It stars um, the girl from Game of Thrones, I think it is. Um, but th that was an okay movie. There's four Christmases. With uh, Vince Vaughn yeah, and, was, and Reese yeah, Witherspoon. That was what um, we talked about, too. But yeah, Miracle on 34th Street is mm -hmm. probably was, a big one. No, we had that. There. Sorry, we did have that on there. My bad. Jeez, that's um, how... We're like... Well, no, <laughs> that's what we like. like. <laughs> um, but yeah, th I mean, there's there's plenty of other ones that, I, that I, I've that i seen and I like, but but they, they weren't big enough for me. That's it. Uh, hey... Thank you to uh, Tina for joining us today on the, uh, it's covering up your face, but yep. there you are. Good job, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, thank you for joining us today. We are on a new uh, streaming site, so we're doing some cooler things with our stuff. I feel like ne by next year, we will have this down and we will figure <laughs> out how to do podcasts correctly. And we're still stuck in the house. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, hope not. God, I hope not. It's never ending. Uh, again, join us on Facebook, Spotify, YouTube. Um, let us know your comments. Please send us your your hate uh, on comments telling us I really wish it was this movie or Die tell hard. us that you love Die El hard. I know John if you made it this far we want to hear how mad you are that we kicked that out <laughs> at some point. No we don't <clears throat> and Andy doesn't care but I do um <laughs> But also, you can check us out. We do music as well. So feel free to check us out over on YouTube and Spotify as well for our uh, V-Rap and RJ Gun. You can search on Spotify for either or uh, of those. Uh, but we just had um, Nothing But Over released this coming Friday, which was probably a couple weeks back for you now. Uh, but feel free to go and check it out. That's about it, guys. Have a good time. Good night. Uh, and we'll see you next time for the next episode. Bye.